Hello, my name is Sandy Lenner. I'm a CPA and a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor, and more importantly, someone that can help you prepare the proof of financial ability to operate your healthcare facility. We're going to go over the financial requirements, the application process, and the approach. We're going to discuss the two types of applications. Before I do that, I want to explain to you the financial requirements that are involved. This is a very complex financial statement that's required by ACCA. If you look at it, it requires revenue and expense projections for 24 months projected cash flow statements for 24 months. That's your change in cash, accounts payable, accounts receivable, all those balance sheet items. Two annual balance sheets. All of this prepared in accordance with generally accepted accounting principles. Maybe you've heard the term. It's called GAAP. Those are the rules that accountants must follow and ACCA requires a CPA to adhere to those rules. On top of that, there has to be several pages of footnotes. Footnotes are summaries of the assumptions, the accounting policies, and any other disclosure that's required by generally accepted accounting principles. On top of that, if you look at page one, you're going to see where there's a working capital schedule, a contingency funding schedule and calculation, and a proof of funding. All of this has to be submitted to ACCA. Now, ACCA requires two types of applications. There's the initial application, which is the most common and prevalent type, and that's basically when you're starting a healthcare facility. And then there's a change in ownership, and that's for when you're buying the stock or the assets or the license of an existing facility, and you basically are not starting from scratch. So you have to file a different type of form and the transaction is a little more complicated because you're probably having a financial transaction with the seller of the healthcare facility. In any case, do not prepare this yourself. Do not use a bookkeeper. Do not hire non-CPA. Don't let those people submit it to ACCA. If you do, your application will be rejected because it must be submitted by a CPA. You can use these people to help you prepare, but you must have a CPA look at it. Our approach is that we ask you to provide the key revenue assumptions, um, the staffing requirements, where you're going to get your revenue from, by is it going to be private pay, Medicare, insurance, etc. And what are the revenue assumptions specific to the type of healthcare services that, that you will be providing? Each facility is different based on the geography and the type of healthcare service being provided. Um, we use specialized projection software. We will have virtual um, screen sharing with you to answer questions. You just don't send me a file. If you're local, I'll come and see you, but we can do it virtually by PC. We try to make it easy for you. Now, one of the best things and the important thing is like buying any product or service is you read customers testimonials. Here are two testimonials. I have many more for other types of services on my company's website. So if you're interested and you found this helpful, please feel free to contact me by a phone call. If you go to my website, I have a, a few sp specific ACA questions. That will save some time, fill it out, or just send me an email. But I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to help you. So I hope you enjoyed this.